In this video, we will see in detail about alternative pathway of complement system. The alternative pathway of complement system is discovered after classical pathway of complement system. It is one of the first responses of the innate immunity to the invading pathogen or infections. It is antibody independent complement pathway. Alternative pathway is mainly triggered by bacterial endotoxin. Bacterial endotoxin is a lipopolysaccharide compound in the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria. The other triggers of alternative pathway are yeast cell wall and cobra venom factor. Alternative pathway differs from classical pathway in the process of formation of C3 convertase enzyme. Further steps in classical pathway and alternative pathway are same to form membrane attack complex and killing of microbe cell. The first step in alternative pathway is spontaneous hydrolysis of factor C3 which is abundantly present in blood plasma. The hydrolysis is a spontaneous process which converts component C3 into C3 H2O. This hydrolysis actually opens a site for binding the protein B. The protein B in presence of protein D splits into a smaller BA fragment and a larger BB fragment. The BA fragment is released and BB fragment binds to C3H2O and forms a complex molecule C3 H2O BB. This is a soluble C3 convertase. This complex has a protease activity. It specifically and rapidly activates many more molecules of C3 and cleaves them into C3A and C3B molecules. When there is an infection, the C3B covalently binds on the microbe surface. This is known as complement fixation. In the next step, the factor C3B binds with again factor B and this factor B again in presence of factor D is cleaved into a small fragment BA and BB. The BB again binds with C3B and forms a complex C3BBB. This C3BBB is a highly unstable compound which in presence of another protein properdine it is stabilized into C3BB complex which is an alternative C3 convertase. This is a C3 convertase for alternative pathway. This C3 convertase then leaves other molecule of C3 into C3A and C3B. This C3B then combines with C3 convertase and forms C5 convertase. This C5 convertase then splits C5 into C5A and C5B molecules. This C5B molecule is a larger molecule which further combines with C6 component, C7 component, C8 and C9 components to form a complex C5B6789. This is nothing other than membrane attack complex. This is how the membrane attack complex works. C5B, C6, C7, C8 and C9 component, they get self-associated to form a membrane attack complex. This membrane attack complex inserts themselves on bacterial membrane, allowing the extra cellular salts and water to enter inside the pathogen cell. This causes the swelling of microbial cell and ultimately the bursting of pathogen cell. 